Hey, I teach your thoughts here coming at you with another video. We have a problem in the greenhouse. I've got my specs on because what we're looking at is about the size of a speck. Now we've got a plant pest that has come into our greenhouse and looking at the damage on the green and the on the plants and the age of the leaves, it's possible it might have come in when these plants were brand new. So let's take a look real close and see if we can figure it out. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna zoom in on this leaf right down here. And I'm gonna use a random object right off the tip of that tag, right down there in the center. There's a little tiny yellow thing. Oh, I almost touched him. It's right down there. That is a thrip. They are really, really super small. Uh, not quite microscopic, but, but close. Uh, and they are a sucking insect, so they have piercing mouth parts that will actually go into the tissue of the leaf. And when it goes in, uh, part of their feeding uh, strategy is it, it actually destroys the tissue. And it makes, it makes unsightly marks. And unfortunately, um, those leaves won't repair themselves. We've simply got to replace those leaves. So uh, this is something I discovered uh, about two days in the, go in the greenhouse, but I have to get some time uh, to be able to go to a local uh, farm store to get some orthene, which is what I'm going to use to treat it, uh, specifically some powdered orthene. Um, and I'm going to come in and, and spray these tomorrow. As long as it's not a sunny day, I'll be able to, to do that. Uh, today they were saying there was going to be broken clouds, so I knew I couldn't do that. Um, and also I've been working on the greenhouse. But this is... One of the, the first pests, and honestly, with our greenhouse here in northern Idaho, it's the first time I've seen thrips on plant material this early. Um, and you will find it on your verbena first. So that's the, the, the thrip damage there. And then you look over here, and here's some normal leaves with no thrip damage. And then you come down here, and oh, look at all that thrip damage there. So one of the things about thrips is they do like uh, the plants... There's a little bit more damage there. They do like the plants in the mint family, and they'll tend to go there first. Um, this, this is, this is probably, this one right here is probably patient zero. He's pretty covered in thrips. I'm surprised I didn't see him earlier. Yeah, right off the tip of my thumb. Let's see if we can focus in there. Those little crawly yellow things, those are thrips. They're escaping from my thumb. They don't like to be seen. Yep, those are thrips right there. So I'm gonna come in and spray these. Um, looking at these, there also might be a little viral damage here. I don't really like how those leaves look. So not super happy about having to deal with this this early, but honestly, um, we've been so warm here in Northern Idaho. Normally, normally it'd be in the teens right now. And uh, today it was in the upper 30s or 40s. So our insects are moving around. There's a chance it could have been in here, but I had all the plant material cleaned out of here uh, most of the summer, so I, I don't imagine they'd be here. Uh, the vent fans didn't kick on. I have them turned off. So really it kind of narrows it down to it had to be on my plant material when it came. Um, and it's just a hazard. You know, looking at here, we can see the, the shape of the colony. It's kind of spreading out from here. It's on this plant, this plant, this plant, and this plant on there so it's going to spread out. Oh, there's some damage starting on that one too. Uh, so I'll take care of that tomorrow. Uh, Got to get some spray on there. Now the other thing that's kind of interesting is it hasn't gotten into my scavola yet. So this is one of the scavola flowers and they're in the purpley blue colors and thrips love blue. Wait, that's only the place that I'm seeing them right now is just in my verbena. So it's something I'm going to fix. I'll take care of it, but gosh, it's just part of it being a nurseryman. Um, thrips, white fly, spider mites, aphids, uh, those are your those are your top four. Thrips, white flies, spider mites, aphids, yes, your top four that you'll deal with in a greenhouse. Um, thrips are annoying. They, they make your plant material look bad, but we'll get it fixed. But anyway, I thought I'd give you an update video. I'll do one on the treatment. And then we'll find out a little bit more about that. But I've got to get everything in here treated. Somehow, I have a little bit of grass seed that mixed it in. But anyway, hope you learned something. 
Ag Teacher Thoughts out.